Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. So, a few days ago, well, no, maybe actually more than that, on one of the podcasts I was talking about my worry for the twins, uh, you know, they won't be able to afford rent because even, you know, it's getting so high now um, and people can't already afford houses so they're being forced into the renting market even though rent is actually higher than the mortgage repayments. Don't get me started on that. Anyway, so I saw a story today uh, in Bristol where that's already happening. People are living in caravans and cars. This is the 21st century. This is um, England, Britain, United Kingdom, whatever you want to call this bit of land that we stand upon. And it's meant to be, well, not meant to be, according to their numbers, it's the seventh richest country where we are. So it's got enough money, you would have thought. But here you have in Bristol people who are forced to live in caravans and cars. What makes it worse is what the council has done about it. So rather than sort the problem out, what the council have done is they've allowed a policy. A policy. That's a bit of paper with words on it. A policy that allows this to take place as long as they're not rowdy. If they're, if, if they're uh, you know, bad behaviour, then they have to move on. That's what it says, but it, they've allowed it. They've t- uh, the word they use is tolerated. That was the word I read in the in the article. Now, whether that's the word that they actually used, but that was the word that was was put down as tolerated. Oh, oh, tolerated. I mean, <laughs> what a word to use. We're going to tolerate you living in caravans and cars. I suspect they say the same for the people who live out on the streets. We're going to tolerate you sleeping on bin bags, you know. And I, I walk past. There's more and more in Croydon these days. I think when I first came here, I don't remember seeing any, maybe one. Now I see it all, all the time when I'm walking to work. And I, I see sometimes they just leave all their belongings, their clothes and bags, and they've obviously gone off somewhere. Um, I don't know to go to the toilet, or get food, or, or you know, with the money that they may have been given, and they just leave their belongings, and no one takes them. <laughs> but just the, the way that it's tolerated. Don't fucking tolerate it. Sort the fucking problem out. Why aren't you helping these people? Seventh rich country on this planet realm existence, whatever you want to call this bit of land covered by sea that we live within. Can't sort this out. Or you don't want to sort this out. No, no, we don't get enough money. Well, what a minute. Money, surely, isn't the issue. It's how you spend the money. All the money that's going to, to make weapons. Do we really, as a, we don't need, well, of course we need weapons because everyone else has them, isn't it? The problem is, is, in my mind, the way the world should be and the world, way the world is, is completely different. In my world, in my mind, you know, we don't need all these things, but the problem is that's not how people are. In reality, I'll say in reality, and how we've all chosen to be. I mean, I know there's no great solution because they have to pay for hospital, schooling, and roads, and all that, and probably our taxes are, are probably too low uh, to pay all those things. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because we pay for all these incompetent people that are in charge too much money. Or maybe, well, the actual real problem is because we have the concept of money that we have, that the only way we can help each other is if we take a piece of tree and turn it into money and then give it to one another and, and the promise of the gold that sits in a bank somewhere. How, how, how many years have we had this concept of money? Thousands? You know, this concept was come up by a person that wouldn't even be able to sit down and Google. This concept was come up by a person who wouldn't even be able to drive in a car. This person that came up with this concept wouldn't be able to do half the things that we're able to do or even have these conversations or these thoughts that we have. And yet we're still going to go by that system. Wow. That's, that's the, that, I think, is a real problem with humanity, is the fact that it's not willing 
to look at itself and actually think about the things that we follow, how many fucking thousands of years old they are. And we're going to follow someone that wouldn't even, that, that, that person has come up with this concept, we wouldn't even be able to have a conversation with them because they'd be that fucking stupid. Well, I don't know, maybe that's unfair, maybe that's, un, that's, that's me being brainwashed into thinking that people of this age are more intelligent than people of the past, that we this evolution type thing. So maybe that's not true. Maybe they would actually be able to understand things a lot better than I would. So I just answer my own argument. I'm arguing against myself now. <laughs> I don't know. It's just I just, uh, the concept of money is 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 a fallacious one and a, and a bad one. It's is not the best way for mankind to do things. To to only be able to help someone if you're paid. People who walk past, people who are suffering, but if you're paid to do that job, then you'll help. Come on, is that humanity? Take care, take it easy, God bless and peace.